Magandang araw sa ating lahat. For today's video, i-discuss natin ang market structures. These four structure, the perfect competition, monopolistic competition, oligopoly, and monopoly. Now, when we say market structure, it refers to the competitive environment in which buyers and sellers operate. Okay. And competition is the rivalry among various sellers in the market. Okay. Nag-compete sila on earning more sales, gaining more profit. For that, they will stay longer in the business. Now, when we say market, it is a situation of diffused, impersonal competition among sellers who compete to sell their goods and among buyers who use their purchasing power to acquire the available goods in the market. So, sellers, nagkukompete sila to sell their goods, okay? Ito yung ginagawa ng mga sellers. Gusto talaga nila na sila yung mas maraming ma naibinta. Okay? And among buyers then who use their purchasing power to acquire or to get the available goods in the market. Now, uunahin natin si perfect competition. So, perfect competition, the market here has a lot of independent sellers. Okay, nakita niyo sa iba ba? Okay. And then, sellers offer the same goods. Maraming nagbibinta ng rice, sa kabila namang kanto, may rice din. Uh, sa gilid, may rice. Okay, as you can observe in the, in the physical market. Okay. Each seller is trying to compete to get more profit than the others. Okay, they are, uh, they are trying, no? They are trying to compete. Sino yung mas malaki ang benta? Mas malaki ang profit? Okay? So, it is the type of market na, na uh, perfect competition talaga. Pure competition. So, as you can see here, the fruit. Uh, fruit, fruit stand. Okay? So, here, may nagbibinta ng mga apple. Sa, sa kabila naman na stool, may, may apple din. Okay? So, that is perfect competition. Now, we will know its characteristics. Okay? In the perfect competition, there is a large number of independent sellers. So, as we can observe in the physical market, no, na ang daming nagbibinta ng gulay. Okay? In that section, gulay lahat. Maraming independent seller. Okay? Second, products are all the same. Homogeneous. Okay? Pariha lang yung inib ibininta nung, nung rival mo. Okay? So, example, the rice. Okay? Kung may binta kang rice dito, sa kabila may rice. Halimbawa din corn, meat. No? In the meat section sa market, ang daming meat na itinitinda. Okay? Fish, fruits, and etc. They offer almost the same product, homogeneous. Okay? So, no one seller or one buyer, no one seller or no one buyer can cause a change in the price of a good. Okay? And the rise and the fall of market price depends on the total demand or total supply, not on a single seller. Okay, hindi ka po nakaka-influence ng price. Kung ano, yung, kung ano yung price sa kabila, yun din yung i-price mo. Kasi pag nagtaas ka, of course, hindi na maibinta yung mga tinda mo. Kasi yung mga buyers natin, naghahanap yan ng mga um, less or cheaper na mga price. Okay? So, another characteristic of a perfect competition is... Uh, easy for the new firms to enter and leave the market. So, for example, a vegetable vendor is free to sell in the market and simply leave the market. So, madali lang yung pagpasok sa market. Okay, if I want to sell vegetables, so I can sell. 
if I don't want, if I want to stop it, then I can leave the market anytime. Okay? Easy lang po yung entry at exit sa market, sa perfect competition. Okay? So, there is no competition that does not include prices. But there is no need for this because the goods sold are all the same. Ito na yung sinabi ko kanina na you have to you have to uh, you have to adapt no with, with the price of your competitor so that maibinta mo rin yung mga mga goods mo okay now we go to the monopolistic competition okay here there is a lot there is almost a large number of sellers selling goods that are similar but not the same Okay, ito po yung mga halimbawa natin, like Pepsi and the Coca-Cola. Okay, they are similar, they are drinks or they are soft drinks, but they are not exactly the same. Okay, iba po yung brand niya. Okay, another is here, the banks. Okay, they offer, the banks offer the same uh, services, no? Uh, almost similar are almost similar services but not exactly the same also with the uh, gasoline stations okay it is these are some examples of monopolistic competition now we go to its characteristics number one is there are many seller acting independently Second, products are not all the same. There are different commercials and billboards for them. For example, banks, books, and gasoline stations. So, we can see commercials on billboards. So, we can hear advertisement on TV and radio. Okay? Number three is there is a limited control of price. Sellers can decrease or increase prices a little. Hindi nila masyadong maikontrol yung presyo kasi competition pa din eh. Okay? Fourth is new firms do not have a very hard time entering the market. They need capital. Okay? Need to promote their products so people will buy their goods. Okay, so, hindi masyadong mahirap to enter this kind of market, but then kailangan mo lang ng kapital. Okay, and you also need to promote your product so that people will buy at you. Okay, fifth is there is more non-price competition. Okay, provide better services and better places to sell. Okay, so non-price competition ka lang, titira. Okay, so otherwise, um, may iwan ka. So either way, uh, improve mo yung services mo, that is non-price. Okay, improve mo yung services mo, yung comfortable ang people to enter your, your bank or to to receive your services so yun lang yung pwede mong i, i tactic or i strategize no uh, you cannot you cannot really you cannot really um, compete on price okay so take note competition pa rin ito okay so you you better provide good services and better places to sell Okay, so yan na yung ginagawa ng Jollibee, okay, versus McDo. Okay, so as we can observe, no, uh, Jollibee talaga, grabe talaga yung service nila. Yung para, hello sir, good morning, how can I help you? Oh sir, have, have a seat. Maganda, maganda yung service nila. Also with the McDo, they, they are providing better services to compete in the market. Okay? Now we go to the third. Okay, this is the oligopoly. Describes a market that is dominated by only a small number of firms. Resulted to limited competition. They can compete each other or collaborate. They can use their collective market power to drive up prices and earn more profits. So ito na yung mga examples natin sa oligopoly. Okay, we have here the Microsoft and the Google, 
okay? The Samsung, the Apple, the Huawei, the Toyota, the General Motors, Ford, Chrysler. So they can compete each other. And also, they can collaborate, okay? And then they can use that collaboration no? to drive up or to, to set up prices. Okay, so they can do, uh, let us say, sabot-sabot, no? With the price to earn more profit, okay? Now we go to the characteristics of the ol oligopoly. First is only some firms are powerful in the market, as you can see in the example, okay? We only have Microsoft and Google, uh, they are the powerful in the market. We also have this brand. Okay. Next is products are either the same or different. Oligopolies can set price. Okay. As I've been saying, they can collaborate to set price to earn more profit. Okay. It is hard for new firms to enter the market. Okay, it is hard to beat the firms that have been in the market longer because these firms know better. Ang hirap po. Ang hirap pong magsimula ng ganitong klaseng negosyo. Okay? And products may be homogeneous or differentiated. Okay, take note. Oligopoly typically consists of about 3 to 5 dominant firms in the entire market. So, like here in our example, okay, so cars, okay, and then for cell phones, and then for our Google and Microsoft. Now, we go to the monopoly. Exist when a single firm that sells in the market has no close substitute. Okay, ito yung mga halimbawa natin. Meralco, okay, wala naman itong kompetensya, okay, Fibico. Uh, or first Bukidnon Electric Cooperative, the Netflix, and the Manila Water. Wala po itong mga kompetensya. Okay? Now, let's go to its characteristics. There is only one producer or seller. Okay? As you can observe. And then, not all products are exactly the same. And then, monopolies chooses the price. Of course, they can set the price. Kasi sila lang yung nag-provide ng product na yan or services na yan. Okay? Walang iba. No competition. Okay. It is very hard for new firms to enter the market. Hira po. Okay? Yung ikaw lang talaga. Okay? Mahira. And then, there may or may not be a lot of promotions of goods. Wala nang masyadong adv advertisement kasi uh, nabibenta ka naman eh kahit hindi ka nag-advertise kasi ikaw lang nga mag-isa ang nagpo-provide ng product na yun. Okay? Now, let us know the, the, the summary of the market structure. So, we have here at the, okay, the perfect competition. Okay, and then here in the perfect competition, large number of sellers, marami po, and then homogeneous products as um, I've mentioned a while ago, um, pariparihas lang po yung binibinta nila. Okay, and then free and easy entry. Madali lang po mag-start ng, ng business here. Okay, and no market power. They cannot set price here because uh, marami pong competition. They have to abide what is the price uh, dictated with their competitors. Okay, so pag 45 ang yang chow na price sa kabila, 45 ka din or lesser than that. Kasi pag tagmahal ka, wala, wala kang benta. Okay, now here in the monopolistic competition, uh, here, maraming sellers then. Products are not all the same. Easy to enter the market and limited control of price. Why limited? Kasi competition pa din ito. Okay? Kahit na hindi kayo masyadong marami, competition pa rin. You cannot set your price. Okay? 
Next is the oligopoly. Few firms are powerful, like sa mga example ko kanina. And then the products are differentiated. It is hard to enter the market and producer agree on price. Okay? I have mentioned that a while ago. They can collaborate. Okay? These powerful firms can collaborate and set price to earn more profit. Now we go to the monopoly. Okay? It is one seller, one product, and it's impossible to enter. Okay? Halimbawa natin dito yung Meralco, Manila Water, Afebico. Okay. So, monopolies chooses the price. Of course, they can set the price kasi sila lang yung nag-offer ng product na iyon. Okay? So, we also have here the determinants of the market structure. Okay? So, first is the government laws and policies. The government controls the entry of uh, businesses. So, pag inaalaw ka nila, marami na po ngayon, when, when you are planning to, to start up a business, marami ka na pong uh, iperprocess na mga documents sa Securities and Exchange Commission. So, you have also to abide this laws and policies. If you cannot provide this, then your application to the SEC or the Securities and Exchange Commission cannot be approved. Okay, you also have to go to the DTI, the BFAR or whatever, mayor's permit, uh, BIR, ang dami po. Okay, so you have to know this. And also, you have to abide and comply this uh, policies before starting your own business. Next is technology. Some new firms get hold of modern machines which help them produce more goods compared to monopolies. So, noon, uh, yung source natin ng uh, yung source natin na abaka, pwede na siyang may, may, ano na, may substitute na na pwede nung plastic na yung gawin natin na raw material. So, hindi na mamomonopolize ng abaka kasi pwede na nga magamit ang plastic in making a certain product. Okay? Business policies and practices, new firms might be scared of big firms. Big firms can even buy the new firms. Okay. So, may laro din kasi sa business. Okay. So, example here is, maraming mga big firms, big companies, na sila lang yung nag-operate on the certain place. Okay. Tapos, pag may bago company, bus company, binibili nila. Okay? Big firms can even buy the new firms para sila lang talaga yung mag-ooperate on that certain place. They can monopolize and of course, they can set the price. Okay. Next is economic freedom. Firms can compete with one another. It is free. Firms try to beat one another. Only few stay in the market. Free po ito. Ha hanggat wala kang naapaka na tao, you can, you can sell. Okay? It's free to sell. So, uh, sa dami na nang nagtitinda, some of those, ano na, uh, they will stop selling. Kasi nga, ah, sobrang dami na namin, wala na akong benta. Okay, that is also one of the determinants of product uh, market structure. Okay, so that would be all for today. I hope that you learn a lot from my discussion. Thank you very much and good day.